Oh. Come here, you forgot the pickles! We never have no pickles. Good, 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 don't. Please have pickles like that. Maybe some mustard. Oh, and it. Apparently I'm the one that needs to be reordered. Like north? Oh. Oh no! Yeah, wait, where's the chain shop? Your bow is with the moblins. Please have another moment. No, man, we will perfectly, I'll perfectly take care of you and your goblins. I'll take, I'll keep bringing Bow Wow back. Well, look at you guys. Like, how can, look at that. They are adorable. Look at that. He, they, they just want to be here, man. You know what, no, ma'am, you, you are an adorable, look at that. Who, who can say no to that face? Hold on, well, no key furry. Maybe. If were to come on to the stream and find my channel, I would be okay with that. They're like, hey, what's going on? Welcome aboard. I love you. I love people. The furries make the best huggers. Can we, can we just, like, has anyone been to a convention, hug the furry? It's great. I like hugging furries. I don't know why I'm on this tangent. There is a little bit of a backstory with that, with this, uh, how I found this out. Um, at SakuraCon and PAX Prime here in Seattle, um, there is specifically one Flareon furry cosplayer that comes up every year. Consistently. From like 2013 to like 2016 before, before um, I joined the military, the, the, this Flareon furry would consistently come to these conventions and get out free hugs. Uh, that's the only furry, well, you know, because then the London Film Comic Con, all the London Comic Con, they all have furries. So, um, I've also hugged furries there. But the Flareon furry in particular in Seattle started this whole downhill schema of, like, hmm. Okay, maybe the furry community has something going on with with Huggy. They can see the furry suits are comfortable. Um, at least, oh yeah, the furry suits are comfortable. I know it's not one. Uh, I move on. Oh no, no. Okay, hold on. So no, there's a bad story. 